If you're planning a trip to Disneyland Paris, you may be looking into the PhotoPass Plus service. In this video, we'll go over all of your basic need to know information. Stay tuned. Much like Walt Disney World has Memory Maker and PhotoPass, Disneyland Paris seems to have PhotoPass Plus, which is the product, and then PhotoPass, which is, you know, the service. As always, you are free to have your picture taken by PhotoPass cast members, free of charge. It will just be watermarked, and if you want to download it, you will have to pay. This video is going to focus on that paid product, PhotoPass Plus. The big overarching picture is very much the same as you're used to stateside. There's professional photography opportunities at points of interest around the parks, as well as on-ride attraction photos. To the best of my knowledge, they haven't really amped up their offerings like we've seen recently at Walt Disney World. I didn't see any special PhotoPass pictures at Disneyland Paris like the Tiny World pictures, Super Zooms, or similar. There is one exception to this, but I am still a little fuzzy on the details. Hero Training Center has photo opportunities in Avengers Campus at Walt Disney Studios Park. Apparently, you can get a 180 degree, like multiple angle shot with an Avenger. I was not able to do this. It was on virtual queue when I was there, and I never managed to get a spot in that queue. Various reports online have said that it is an extra 15 euros on top of the normal photo pass plus price. Some people have said that's gone away. I'm not totally sure what's true anymore. If you frequently visit Disneyland Paris and you know the answer, please do leave a comment down below. Any clarifying information you can offer is super helpful and appreciated. In terms of PhotoPass at attractions, here is what I found at Disneyland Park. PhotoPass cast members seem to always be present at the Mickey meet and greet as well as the Princess meet and greet at the Princess Pavilion. They were sometimes stationed with some other characters, but definitely not always. For example, we had PhotoPass pictures with Winnie the Pooh, but not with Piglet, not with Chip and Dale. In terms of on-attraction photos, you will get PhotoPass pictures from Hyperspace Mountain, their Buzz Lightyear ride, Big Thunder Mountain, and Pirates of the Caribbean. Over in Walt Disney Studios Park, the standard PhotoPass offerings are a bit more limited. PhotoPass cast members seem to often be present when Avengers were out for meet and greets, but not always. It does seem like they are always present if you're able to go to that Hero Training Center experience. But for those more random interactions, like we just happened into Captain Marvel in the land, there was no PhotoPass cast member there, so it's not a guarantee. For on-ride photos, you will get one from Flight Force, which is the revamped rock and roller coaster, as well as their Tower of Terror. For us, PhotoPass Plus costs 75 euros for unlimited photos up to 10 days in length. This covered our entire trip easily. You can add this on to your hotel and ticket booking as part of that overall vacation package. This is what I did. But you can also buy it individually separate from your hotel or tickets at any of the major Disneyland Paris stores. Just ask the person at the cash register. If you don't purchase PhotoPass Plus, again, you are free to make use of the PhotoPass service. Your pictures will just be watermarked. This PhotoPass system links your photos to your account through scanning a barcode. So if you haven't purchased PhotoPass Plus, which we'll go over that card in a minute, uh, you can get like a free ticket basically. Keep that on you and have the PhotoPass cast member scan it whenever you want to have those photos attached to your account. And if you decide to purchase later, from what I can gather again, it's 75 euros if you want unlimited photos, all of them up through 10 days of your stay. Or I believe it's 15 euros for an individual photo. Again, I did actually purchase PhotoPass Plus, so I wasn't able to go and click a photo and see how much it would be to buy just one. So if you have different information from this that you're willing to share, please leave that in a comment down below. But 15 euros for an individual photo digital file tracks very on par with what you would pay to buy one photo at Walt Disney World from their PhotoPass service instead of Memory Maker. Next, I'll walk you through activating your PhotoPass Plus purchase. Like I just mentioned, I did purchase PhotoPass Plus as part of my ticket and hotel package. So when I checked in at the hotel, they gave me a folder with everything I needed. This included a PhotoPass voucher. To get your actual PhotoPass Plus card, you need to go ahead and exchange your voucher at a store. You can exchange it at a variety of shops. It is quite a lot, including I think most, if not all of the hotel shops. So we just went to the shop in our hotel and exchanged it right away. You then are given a PhotoPass Plus card. It is just a plastic card the size of a credit card. The back of it has a barcode, so then when you are interacting with PhotoPass cast members, they're going to go ahead and scan your PhotoPass Plus card. And like I mentioned earlier, if you didn't buy PhotoPass Plus, but you still want to take those PhotoPass pictures, make use of the service, and decide later if you'll buy any of the pictures, you can get a temporary card, essentially. If you're taking PhotoPass pictures around the parks at points of interest, you'll always need to scan your card with a cast member. If you're trying to collect your photos from on rides, sometimes you'll interact with a cast member, sometimes you're able to do this yourself. So for ride photos, we found there were really two options here. First is that a cast member will staff a booth and you will walk over there, they'll scroll through the most recent pictures, you'll find the one that's you. You'll pick that out and then they'll scan your card. Alternatively, there will be a wall of photos when you get off the ride, you go and look at that, find your photo, there will be a numeric or alphanumeric code on it, remember that code, take it to the cast member, they'll type it in, and then again assign your photo to your account by scanning your PhotoPass Plus card. The other main option was a self-service kiosk. 
So rather than scroll through photos with a cast member or look at a wall of photos and remember that numeric or alphanumeric code, you'll go to a self-service station where you're going to scroll through the pictures yourself. Once you find the one that's you, you're just going to confirm that and it's going to ask you to scan your photo pass card. That's how you link your photos to your account, but they're not just gonna show up in your Disneyland Paris app, unfortunately. It's not quite as seamless as the My Disney Experience app for Walt Disney World. To look at your pictures and eventually retrieve them, you will need to head to DisneyPhotoPass.eu. There you'll need to link your account. So I logged in with my same Disneyland Paris credentials and then I added my Disney Photo Pass Plus ID. Then all of your linked pictures will appear on this website and you can download them from there, either on your computer or straight to your phone. And very different from Walt Disney World, these are actually available for an entire calendar year. So you really have quite a long time to save those files if you want. That's a brief overview of your need to know basics about Photo Pass Plus at Disneyland Paris. All in all, I think it's pretty straightforward, though definitely slightly antiquated compared to the Walt Disney World service. The ease of Bluetooth on your phone for on-ride attractions or tapping a magic band with a PhotoPass cast member just isn't there at Disneyland Paris yet. So you've got your PhotoPass card that you paid 75 euros for for unlimited photos up to 10 days. You're gonna scan that with cast members, you'll make an online account to see your photos at DisneyPhotoPass.eu and download them. If you have any questions about the service, leave those in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much for watching and I really appreciate all of you who take the time to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I hope the rest of your day is magical and we'll see you real soon at Pixie Dust PhD.